Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods. Now we have got some mods today. So let's go to the mod hub and have a quick look in there first. And in the mod hub today, would you believe we got a map? Look at the map. Mercury Farms is here, finally. So we have got six mods for today, which is obviously the Mercury Farms, which is awesome. Looking forward to being a play on that one because I we got FS19 when this just came out on FS17, so I didn't get to really play that. So I'm gonna do a, a map tour on this straight after and have a look to see if it's changed to previous one. So that's the first mod by Alien Jim. Then we've got the Adoranti pack. Now this is the same by DD Mod Passion. This was out on FS17, uh, just when FS19 came out. So I've already done a new mods on these, but we'll have a quick look anyway. And that, that was by DD Mod Passion. Then we go over, this is quite nice, new, new, something a bit different, a package of three different size wood frame open sheds with brick wall and tiled roof, working lights that come on at night, cool. And they're actually showing you've got some crop on the ground, so hopefully they don't spill out through the walls. And then we've got a, another farmhouse, which is caravan, static caravan by Dorset. And then we've got a wheel loader bale fork, which we got three of these. We wait for ages and then you get three. They're like buses. And that is it for today. That was by Agritechnic Nord Nordefell. And that is it for the Mod Hub today. Right, so starting off, we have the Adorant trailers now these were when fs19 came out these were out on fs17 as a mod so let's pull that one out so we can have a better look at it so these have been brought over from FS17 and is now available as a mod on FS19 so today we have everything all the mods are done by modders and there is nothing from giants so I've been chatting with this about this with a, uh, a mate on PlayStation Network is a big shout to Alan because you can see there actually is no giants everything is mods by modders unbelievable and Mercury Farm map which obviously I forgot to say is where we are anyway getting back to the adjuvant trailer now the biggest one they got is this one and it's the 44 4,000, no, it's not 4,000, it's 45,000 litre capacity. So it's not too, well, it's, it's a decent sized trailer. Now it costs 45 grand to buy and you can, initial leasing costs are 2,295 pounds. Now it is a, I'm sure these are a tipper. Of course it won't let me tip because I won't, don't own the land currently and all of these trailers they're all minus 16 slots on all of all of them then you've got the 200a with four sides and it's just got these four extra bits on the side same old thing basically it's a nice trailer nice stable trailer you got six wheels on it nice now the you can have the different wheels where they've got the Michelins or the Trailborg and which ones are they? They're the Michelins and I think those ones were the Trailborg. Yep, they're the Trailborg as well. Now going back to this one then the cost of this one, the four sides, this one is forty-five grand and initial leasing costs are 2295 
and it has still got the same capacity for for 45,000 litres then we go on to the 200A with three sides and this is the 35,000 litres and it costs 40,000 pounds and le initial leasing costs are 20 uh, are 2,040 pounds sorry but they do look absolutely lovely they brought them over they look very very nice very nice loving it but we have seen these before it was at the end of well not at the end they say at the end but when FS19 came out then we started playing that and this was one of the first mods I did so there you go we got them in the game now we have got the I forgot about the bail trailer actually this bail trailer is well they are 10 grand and 510 pounds to lease but they are a nice big kit. The, these do actually tip, so you can actually put the bales on and tip it off. We'll give that a go and see what it's like. I'll tell you what, we're gonna take this one over the other side of the road, because I own that bit of land. I don't think I own any of these other bits of land. Because this is where all the other mods are as well. Will it let me tip now? Yeah, it is gonna let me tip. But it, oh, it is a tipper. I thought it was a tipper. I'm not sure how high up this thing goes. But it's considerable. That'll do the job. Right, getting back to the other mod. So we've got another wheel loader bail fork. That was crazy. We wait for certain stuff and then they just give us loads of the same stuff all the time. What's the point of having three of them? You could have given us some different mods in that time, but no. Oh no. So yep, yeah, there it is it's minus three slots 1500 to buy 76 pounds to lease and with no colors options you either have it black with red spikes or that is it and there is no other options i suppose there isn't any options what you could give it really so make sure it works we've got the loader Oh, spilt the rest of them. Stupid. Just stupid. Whoa. Might have the sensitivity a little bit high. Whoa. And they're loaded. Strap down. So yeah, it works. It does what it says it does. Right, moving on. The next load of mods we've got are actually placeables. Well, these this traffic don't stop. See, he hit that. Whoa! I nearly lost that load. It is strapped, but it's not. It's not holding it. Let's take this down here. I mean, at least the advantage with this, if you can put 20 full bales on this, and they, but there is one trailer for round and one for square. Now I thought it was an auto loader of some description but I I can't remember I'll have to go back and have a look at the original video 
because I cannot remember operating business. Yes, it is an auto loader. Yes, of course it is. So we finally have a bloody auto loader. Simple as that. But to unload them, I'm sure to unload them. Yes, you can't auto unload bales. Unload bales here. Yeah, it just drops them. But we can pick them up. That's the main thing. You can pick up 24 bales at a time. So operating position, bang. There it is. Jobs are going to... Easy as that. Brilliant. Love it. Right, moving on. we got to look at this other stuff. So let's drop that there. And we go over and have a look at the new static caravan. And there it is. It's a static caravan farmhouse. 25 grand, which I thought was a lot, but it's how much they would be. And minus two slots, that is. So it is a cheaper farmhouse. Cool. Then moving over, we have the wood frame open sheds. Now these are pretty cool. I like these. They're minus five slots each. Now this first one is ten thousand. They've got automatic lights for when it goes dark. And I haven't. I wanted to see if they, because on the pictures they do show that you can got some crop in there. So hopefully it doesn't spill out onto the other side. They're moving on to the next one. So the first one was 10 grand, and then the, this next one is 25,000. And you can see it's a lot bigger. And of course, you can put these next to each other, you'll have a huge area. Pretty nice sheds, I, I like them a lot. Then moving over to the number three, if I can get up there. No, I can't get past a bloody fence. This is number three, and this is 20 grand, so it's a little bit less. But the same again, you can put them next to each other. I like them. They're pretty nice detail detailing on it. Then the next load of stuff we got is all these fencing. And we got the gates and the walls. So you can really customise your farm. Now these are all absolutely awesome. They're not too expensive either. So let's have a look at the the walls. Now this is the short wall and it's 100 quid. And all you do is put one in, put the next one in and carry on going like that. And then you get a medium, then you get large, which large is at the, at the back there. So that's just one whole piece. And then you get two different bends. You get a 60 degree bend and you've got a 90 degree bend as well. Uh, sorry, that's the 90 and that's the 60. And I did do a little wall going up there, but you can see it doesn't like these slopes very much. But it does go into, you know, it blends in. So yeah, it's customised your farm. It looks pretty cool. And then we've got all the different fences you've got the smaller fence posts these are 100 pound a time i think they were so they're all is it it's not that expensive they are minus five slots some of these but obviously as soon as you bought one then the next ones are only minus one slot so you know you have you have caught you can't have too many but you can customize your own farm and do what you want with it i think they're pretty cool So that is it for today. So we finally have an auto loader, and I do like these um, these walls and the fences and the gates. The gates aren't too expensive either. There, but uh, the double ones are about 350, and the other ones are 200. So quite inexpensive. And we're also on Mercury Bloody Farms on FS19. Absolutely awesome. This is, I can't wait to get stuck into this map because I love the way you can remove all the fields. So I'm going to be doing a map tour on that. Don't forget to check that out. Um, I'll do that in the next day. 
Right, well, we'll leave it there for today. So if you enjoyed what you see, then please give me a like. And if you want to see more content, hit that subscribe if you already haven't done. And I will see you next time. Yeah.